So, I just finished watching High Tension, or as it's known in other countries, Switchblade Romance. And I think the movie's definitely a mixed bag. For the people willing to make it to the final 15 minutes, the final 15 minutes of the movie do redeem it from itself. But it's a very, very, very flawed movie that makes it extremely difficult to get to the last 15 minutes. The good news is the movie's under an hour and a half, so it's not too terribly long to get there. And the movie does go in all these interesting different directions. But basically everything from the twist onwards, which I knew the twist, but still seeing it in its entirety and what it all means since I didn't know everything about it. And just the ending, the last 15 minutes were great and definitely do redeem the movie. However, the flaws that plague the hour and 15 minutes that precede that are very two-dimensional characters uh, you don't really learn much about them, and characters are just themselves for the sake of themselves without any, like, defining characteristics. Like, I can't even tell you one thing about certain characters. Like, the villain, for example. Well, we know about the villain. Well, the villain's crazy. What else do we know about the villain? Why are they the villain? Why do they do the things they do? What's their line of logic? Uh... They're crazy. <laughs> they don't... It doesn't give the movie much weight when the characters have no character and you don't really have a reason to root for anyone. There's some interesting scenes of suspense and an interesting color palette as long as great... Uh, what's the word? Uh, I knew I was going to forget when the time came. Uh... What sound design? Yeah, there's great sound design in the movie, and the score for the movie, as well as the soundtrack, do a really good job adding to the great atmosphere of the film. So yeah, if you're ready for a very fascinatingly dark final 15 minutes to the movie, and are willing to truck through the hour and 15 minutes that precede it, then I think you'll end up liking it like me. I was pretty sure I wasn't going to recommend this movie. I didn't like it at all until, like, the final 15 minutes of the movie, and that totally redeemed it for me. So, yeah, if you're willing to go through all the flaws to get to the good stuff and don't mind, like, dark, dark scenes, uh, I'd say check it out. I wish I could say skip to the last 15 minutes so that you don't have to suffer or anything, but what makes the last 15 minutes so good is the context it brings to the hour that precedes it, so you can't really skip any of it. But it's interesting, to say the least. So yeah, do with that what you will. Decide to see it or not see it, however you see fit.